Hi guys! So welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. My name is Mandy. Thank y'all so, so much for being here. How are y'all doing? How is your weather? Ours is crappy. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't even know if I was going to be able to film this week because our weather has been that crazy. It's been ice, it's been snow, it defrosts, it re-ices, our internet goes in and out. So I figured that I would go ahead and film and then if I could upload, I will. If I can't, then it's just going to be what it's going to be. So today's video, I thought that it would be a lot of fun if I did a fashion to figure plus size try on lookbook video. I know y'all love my coordinated looks. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I've been working with fashion to figure on and off for a couple of years now. If I don't work with them, I buy my own stuff from them. I really like their stuff. They have really, really cute stuff that is very curve friendly. And honestly, y'all, I think this is going to be my favorite fashion to figure haul of all time. And I actually had some pretty big shoes to fill. So instead of picking out like one or two items here and there, like a shirt that didn't match with the pants, I made this whole coordinating look. I love the way it turned out and I hope y'all do too. So if you like this type of content, please consider liking and subscribing. You know your girl would appreciate it. And if y'all wanna see what this fashion to figure plus size lookbook has to offer, then please continue watching. All right, y'all, so we're jumping right in with outfit number one. And this one is my favorite of the entire bunch, mainly because this is giving me almost 90s resort vibes. If you were a teen of the 90s, you're probably gonna remember those silky multicolored jackets that women probably in like their 30s and 40s used to wear on airplanes or when they traveled. They were really colorful. Some even had like a safari theme, which they were kind of cool. They had like a silky inside. So this top reminds me of those jackets in the best way possible. I just love it so much. So this button down flowy blouse is a must have in my opinion and absolutely perfect for early spring. It's very flattering if you have a larger chest like I do because it's gonna kinda keep the eyes moving rather than having them transfixed on a certain area if you know what I'm saying. And the makeup options are endless. As a former makeup artist, that is one thing that I always look for when I'm choosing a statement piece like this. And with the vibrant colors, the pastel pinks, the oranges, the greens, the blues, a flushed pink cheek would be absolutely amazing. So as I mentioned before, this is a button down shirt and it also has buttons on the wrist so you can roll it up, look a little bit chic, and it looks fantastic with just about everything that I've paired these with. So jeans, chino pants, skirts, it's incredibly versatile. So speaking of the jeans, these are the ultra high waisted jeans from Fashion to Figure. And when I tell you that these suck you in in the best possible way, they suck in all the fat, I was wowed by these. I was really wowed. I was really surprised. They're stretchy, but not overly so. They're thick denim that sort of conforms to the body, and I really like them. Y'all know if you've been watching my channel for a while, jeans are my thing. They are my jam. I love a good pair of denim jeans, and these meet the mark in so many ways. One thing I will say about these is the back pockets are a little bit far apart, so if that's not your thing, I do understand it. I get it. It's something that I just wanted to mention. It makes the booty look a little bit wider, but in some instances, that's not necessarily a bad thing. So I just wanted to mention that. I picked this up in a size 18 and they are snug, but not overly so if that makes sense. So if you're wondering about sizing, I size down from these. I usually wear a size 20 in fashion to figure and 18 is the perfect size for me. All right, y'all, so now we're gonna be moving in a completely different direction for outfit number two. And normally I wouldn't be as excited about this sort of outfit. Athleisure is not really my thing all the time. I don't like live in athleisure, but I do like an athleisure day if that makes sense. And with this crazy ass weather lately, I have been living in these pieces and I wanted them front and center. So when I initially ordered this outfit, I envisioned pairing this camo coat with it because of all the earthy tones together. And I mean, come on, <laughs> it's camo, which is my favorite print of all time. But unfortunately, this camo coat is sold out online and I know it's a bummer. I hate that. And I don't know if it's gonna be restocked. So I'm not gonna really go into the details too much. I did include a coat in the description box that I think is very similar in a lot of ways. I do like it a lot. So if you're interested in that, please check it out. The top and the pants are actually bought as separates and they are incredibly comfortable and warm, which is perfect for layering. Or you can wear them alone since athleisure can really be worn all year round. 
but this is something that will definitely get a lot of use. It's not going to be stuffed in a drawer and forgotten. And I really love this color, y'all. It's just this rich, buttery beige. It's so, so pretty. And it also comes in bright pink as well. There are a lot of special details to talk about with this outfit, particularly with the top. The top is really, really special. So I'm not really sure if you're going to be able to tell the details, but the top is cinched in the front and adjustable. So if you're not really crazy about the whole crop top belly showing thing, which I hear you on that, then you can release it down a bit, which I think is really cool. It also has pretty gold hardware on the back zipper, which make it look a lot more expensive in my opinion, a little bit more bougie, a little bit more dressy. And this is something that can be very easily mixed and matched with other pieces as well. So it gets a lot more use. So now we're going to move on to the pants and these pants are oh so comfortable. I love them so much. I have been living in these. They are high waisted. So zero belly will be shown if you don't want there to be, which you know, that's not really my thing. They have a thick and sturdy elastic waist and nice deep pockets. So you can store your phone, your car keys, whatever you need to store in your pockets. And you don't have to worry about them falling out while you're running errands, which is very nice. So I picked up both pieces in a size two make sure you go on the fashion to figure website and you check the size guide because I think if I'm not mistaken that a size 2 is a size 2x but just double check with their size guide like I said before usually I wear a size between an 18 and a 20 and these fit perfectly so now we're on to outfit number three and outfit number three once again is all about the comfort and I just gotta say this one is also a lot of fun. It's definitely gonna get you a lot of looks if that's something you're into. One of the first things that I liked about this athleisure set is the mint green. And then that got me thinking, I was like, how often do we see outfits that are mint green. It's a super underrated color. I don't think I have anything in my collection that's mint green. When you compare the first sweat set with this one, they are two totally different outfits. They have a different vibe, a different feel. They even sit differently on the body as well. So this one is made of a thicker knit material, which is interesting for this type of garment. So right out of the gate, I was intrigued. And I just got to say, y'all, this material is incredibly comfortable. It's very, very different. It feels great on the skin. It just feels expensive, if that makes sense. I love it. Really and truly, y'all, this can be dressed up or down. So slides, tennis shoes, boots, even heels are an option. So you can easily mix and match these separates with other pieces, particularly the top. I think that would be easier to pair with other things. With a high-waisted pair of black jeans, that would be incredibly sexy. So I will say, when shopping on the Fashion to Figure website, I find it incredibly important to read the reviews. Some of the reviews are definitely user error, which unfortunately is quite common but some can be very, very helpful. So someone actually suggested to size up this top because it's more of a crop top if you don't. And I would wholeheartedly agree, definitely size up one. So now onto the pants. And once again, these are made of the same thick knit material as the top. I love them. They are so, so comfortable and cozy. The knit material feels fantastic on the skin. It's cooling and warming at the same time. It's just really interesting and I love it. The pants also have very nice pockets, which honestly is a necessity. I mean, what else am I gonna do with my hands? Overall, this outfit is a lot of fun. It's interesting. It looks expensive, believe it or not, and it mixes things up a bit, which is good to do sometimes. So now we are on to the final outfit of the day, and this is definitely one of my favorites as well. The top may look familiar to y'all if you've been watching my try on hauls for the last couple of weeks, and believe it or not, this is a bodysuit, I know, <laughs> that actually fits amazingly well. It's crazy, mark it on your calendars. So that's where we're gonna be starting today, the bodysuit. I love it so much, I wanna buy more. It's simple, it's comfortable, it fits in my long torso without, you know, those issues <laughs> and it looks incredibly chic. Oh, I just love it. So as you can see, this is a deep V bodysuit and a deep V neckline looks amazing on a plus size figure. It really helps to elongate the body. It draws the eye down. It adds a subtle sex appeal and it could be accessorized in so many ways. You can add a simple bangle or a couple of bangles. You can add a long drop necklace even a statement necklace if you wanted to, and it doesn't have to break the bank to look amazing. So this has three snaps on the bottom. If you're not a fan of doing the whole bend and snap, <laughs> bend and snap. Bend and snap. I was definitely able to easily pull this on and off with the neckline. So if that's something you're interested in, you could do that 
go about your day, handle your business. And to ensure that this bodysuit fit properly, I sized up one size and that made all the difference in the nether regions. Let me tell you, it was so much more comfortable. You have a little bit more wiggle room. So I picked this up in a size three. So this comes in a lot of different colors. I think black, white, beige, brown. So there are options available. I'm definitely gonna pick up more. The pants, as you can see, are lovely camo print jeans. And honestly, what's not to love? They're distressed, they're high-waisted, they suck in my jigglies. <laughs> Yes, indeed, I love that. So once again, I picked these up in a size 18. The last fashion to figure haul, I got a size 20, as I mentioned before, and I found that they were just slightly too big. These are perfect. They're not too tight, they're not too loose, and the distressing gives it an edginess that I really do enjoy. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for this fashion to figure plus size lookbook video. I hope y'all found this video helpful and enjoyable. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. You know your girl would appreciate it. As always, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I always appreciate each and every one of you. Please stay safe and stay healthy. I'm gonna be seeing y'all very, very soon. <laughs> Bye.